Good morning, everyone. Janie here. Welcome back to my garden and happy Make a Bouquet Monday. I have to say, I love that bouquet I just made. I think it's beautiful. I just wish that snow on the mountain Euphorbia wasn't wilted. <laughs> I even harvested it last night and stored it in the fridge. I showed you guys that uh, in an effort to see if it would come back to life because I knew that it would wilt after I cut it. And of course, it's wilted <laughs> this morning. So I will keep you guys updated over the day if it kind of popped back up and starts looking beautiful again. Um, I was reading up because I was getting so frustrated as I was arranging that. I was reading up what else I could do and I read that you can sear the ends, the cut ends. Um, it's just a really hard plant because there's so much of that white sap. I don't know if you guys saw the water. Um, it was like milky white. So there's so much of that white sap um, that like drains out of the plant when you cut that plant. So I will try searing it. Um, I love it. I think it's such a beautiful filler with that variegation. It's just, I just have to get a handle on it. It's a hard one to deal with. Uh, so we'll see. I'll keep messing with it. Um, and you know, I might just give up on it <laughs> too. Sometimes plants, sometimes those really, really tough ones just aren't even worth it, you know, no matter how beautiful they are. So I'll keep you guys updated on that bouquet and let you know if that euphorbia comes back. I'm still happy with it. I still think it's beautiful, even with it kind of wilted over because I think of the shape of that vase. That is my absolute favorite vase to arrange with because I think it's like foolproof kind of like you can basically do whatever throw in whatever flowers and it will look beautiful in the end just the way that the vase holds the flowers so i think it turned out really well i'm still happy with it even with the wilting uh snow on the mountain euphorbia and then I used Lady Coral Lavender Aster that are so gorgeous, such a beautiful color. Um, I can't say it, Brunhild Valkyrie, Valkyrie Brunhilde uh, Aster, that's the spiky white aster. Um, and then the, of course, my no name Dahlia from last year. I got it from Home Depot. I don't know the name of it, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. It's beautiful though, it looks like a sunset. I always think of it as like a sunset, Dahlia. All right, so I wanted to introduce you all this morning. Today is Monday, it's the beginning of a new week, and my plan for this week is to work on this garden bed. This is what I call my gated garden bed, because you can see I have my gate, my black gate all around it, and, um, I, when I first planted this garden bed, I absolutely loved it. I cannot find a picture of it, but it was so pretty. It mainly had these Mystic Spires Blue Salvia. It had the um, Helen Von Stein Lamb's Ear, and it had some of the white verbena, and that was basically it. That's all that was there, and the simplicity of it was beautiful. It was absolutely gorgeous. I remember standing in my garage and looking out the window and just staring at the garden bed and just thinking how incredibly beautiful it was. Now, over time, I have obviously added more and more plants into this garden bed, and for a while it's pretty, but for a very long time out of the season, the flowers that I've put in here are not in bloom, uh, particularly this dianthus. So the dianthus is really pretty earlier in the season and actually later in the season, but I don't want this. I don't want to keep cutting it back. I just, I'm just over it, I think is what I was talking to my girls about it, and they're like, mommy, just pull it out. You just pull it out. And I'm like, you're right. I'm going to pull it out. So that's my plan for today is just to clear this garden bed out. And then over the week, I'll go to the garden center, buy some new plants, and then basically simplify, calm down this, this garden bed. So it's not such a jumbled mess and it's just calm, uh, you know, sim simplified like it was before. So let me show you guys a closer look of the garden bed. Okay, so here is the garden bed. I call it my gated garden bed, obviously, because it has the, has this black gate or fence all the way around it. I just, I don't have a better name for it. <laughs> so you can see there's my ivy espalier right there. Um, I'm just talking about what's to the left of the sidewalk right now. I'm not going to worry about what's to the right because I actually kind of like how that's looking right now. I think it's just this stuff that I'm, I'm not okay with. I do have to show you guys. Look at my summerific hibiscus. Oh my goodness. I just love that pop of color. It is so enjoyable and it's such a beautiful um, summer bloom. It's just, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so back to this. You can see 
the main thing I don't like in here is the dianthus right here. And I know I've been talking about it. I've been talking about it since the beginning of this year, I think, and just kind of going back and forth, back and forth on whether I want to keep it or not. And I think I'm finally just done. It's been like two months of it kind of looking like this, like just kind of not really nice. I can go in here and I can trim it way back, which is what I did last year, but I just don't think it's worth it. You know, like I'm just not that in love with it. And I really did love this garden bed when it was a little bit more simplified. So I think that's coming out. I don't know if I'm going to do another border plant right here. Um, I kind of want to see what they have at the garden center and kind of what speaks to me. Um, I have the Mystic Spires Blue Salvia, which I love. I think it's so beautiful. It does need to be cut back. And I do see I have a beautiful giant weed right there. So I need to get in there and clean that out. Um, I did have one of these die over the winter this past year. I think there was something wrong with the irrigation, which is another thing that I want to address once I get most of this stuff out is I think I want to redo the irrigation while I have everything out. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to keep Keep the Mystic Spires. I'm going to keep the Helen Von Stein Lamb's ear. Of course, I'm going to keep the Limelight Hydrangea. Here are some king-sized apricot asters that I absolutely love. I love these flowers. This was part of my bonus planting that I kind of just tucked into my garden. However, you can kind of see the leaves. They're just, I don't know, they're just not that happy. And I don't I don't want that in my garden bed, specifically this garden bed right here. So I probably will take those out. Um, I probably will, I'll probably will cut off all the blooms <laughs> and use them. It's just such a bummer because look at all these buds right here. Oh, now I'm questioning myself. Okay. I got to, I got to stick to my guns here. All right. Then I have some white verbena that's not looking good at all. This really needs to come out. That was kind of smashed by the Chinese fringe flower before I pruned this guy back. And I'm really glad I did that because I think it looks so much better a little bit pruned back. So these are coming out. I might just replace them with the same thing because I really liked it. Then I have some lavender here that's looking pretty, but I think it's gonna come out. Um, some random verbena. And then let's see, oh, I have the Super Junior Blue Skies that I just put in this pot. I think I'll leave that there because that is so cute right there. So yeah, so overall, it's not that big of a job, right? There's a lot of um, like base plants that I'm really, really happy with. It's just the little stuff and I kind of just have to clean it up. Uh, so my plan is, is to clean it up, go to the garden center, pick out some good plants, replace the irrigation, replace the mulch, and then add in a couple new things and hopefully be done by the end of this week. You know, I won't drag it out too much for you all. Um, but I also, I don't think I'm going to get this done in one day. <laughs> I think it's just too much for one day, but today I want to get it cleared out at least. So let's get started.
Oh my goodness, it looks so much better already. Let me see if I can scoop back a little bit so you all can see. Look at that. Ugh. It just kind of allows the area to breathe a little bit. I did not realize how much stuff I had just packed in there and it had just grown and kind of taken over. And this, I just think looks so much better. Gosh, I don't even know if I want to add anything into it. This, I mean, this project might be over just now because <laughs> I just, I really like it a little bit more simplified right here, at least close to uh, the walkway. So I think I'm definitely not going to add a border plant onto the walkway. I might add a couple more white, like white verbena or something to bring a pop of color in here. I do need to still go in and um, clean up the Helen Von Stein. You can see what happens to it. It gets a little bit brown underneath and you kind of just got to go in and you got to just clean it up. It's really, really easy just to pull these off um, just like that. And then it'll just clean it up. So that's just something you do have to do with the Helen Von Stein, but it makes such a difference when you just go in and do it. So I have to go do all that. However, we just received word from our contractor that today's the day that he's going to be working on the plumbing. So we are getting our master bath remodeled. It's looking so fantastic. It's really, really going well. Um, but we do have to move over the shower drain just a couple inches, which is so annoying. So he has to turn off the water and he has to drill into the concrete to move that over. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. I think <laughs> hopefully everything goes smoothly with it. So he let us know that today was the day that he was going to be turning off the water, probably turning it off tomorrow as well, maybe a third day. So I need to run around. I need to water all my plants. I need to get the laundry all done. Um, and then I need to take a shower before he really, Really turns it off and I don't have access to water. So I I apologize, but this project is a little bit limited um, for today. You know, I did what I needed to do, which I needed to clean out the, the garden bed today so I could see what it looked like, which I'm super, super happy that I did that. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, I will probably do a video on going to the garden center and picking out a couple plants to put in here. Just a couple because I don't want to put too much in here because I realized how much I really enjoy it simplified. So, I got to get going. I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.